Hey, what's happening, YouTube? What's going on, guys? So first off, let me apologize for the road noise. Everybody always complains about that and tells me to get a mic. Um, I'm making a video outside, so it is what it is, right? But in today's video, I wanted to talk about really the only negative that I found about this Body Glove Performer 11 stand-up paddleboard. Um, so I've been wanting a paddleboard for the past couple years. Um, I had limited experience on paddleboards. I rent them when I go to the lake, but you know, I've never owned one. I've never had a friend who had one. Um, and I wanted to buy one, but seeing prices of like on the low end, seven hundred dollars up to you know fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, it's kind of a big investment. I didn't know how much use I'd get out of it, so that kind of you know I, I kind of held off on actually buying one. Well, I finally decided I was going to pull the trigger. Costco actually had a hardboard that I wanted, um, but then I have to do the whole roof rack thing. I have a little Hyundai Elantra. I normally drive out to Northwest Indiana or, or Southwest Michigan to go paddle boarding. And I was like, oh, do I really want to deal with having to strap this thing to the roof? So when I saw this at Costco and started hearing about it, this is like one of the more popular kind of beginner paddle boards on the market right now. It's called the Body Glove Performer 11. Uh, I've done kind of a full video review of it. So I'll link down to that in the description box below if you want to check out the whole thing. This is kind of more the one negative aspect of this board. And it's really not even that big of a negative. It more has to do with the pump than the actual board. So this board has been flawless. It actually performs really well. I took it down a really shallow river and uh, my fins, which are built in, um, were really getting nicked up. I kept hitting rocks and like getting thrown onto my face on the board. Um, and so, you know, I really kind of gave this thing a beating and it still held up well, isn't leaking air anywhere. I've taken this up to Northern Michigan in the Upper Peninsula out on Lake Michigan. I have it out on Lake Michigan uh, at least a couple times a month. The thing has held up awesome. I love the portability. I love that it comes in the backpacks so when I go out to like Montrose Beach and I may have to walk like a half mile to the beach, uh, you know, just throw this thing on my back. It weighs about 25 pounds, not too bad. Uh, so the board is flawless. I think it's probably the best bargain for your money. You can find some similar price boards on Amazon, but it's like fake private label brands from China and stuff like that. Body Glove is a well-known brand. They make, you know, pretty decent quality stuff. And because I bought it from Costco, uh, super liberal return policy. I mean, I, I could literally slice this thing up with a knife, bring it back there, and they would probably take it back from me. But uh, I think this is an excellent starting paddle board. Um, if I upgrade to a hard board, which I would like to do at some point in time, I'll keep this around and this will be a board that my girlfriend can go out on or I can bring out for friends. Uh, now, most of the boards that you buy, the pumps that come with them are going to be a little bit cheap. Uh, I have been wanting to get an inflatable board or an, uh, an electric pump. Uh, here's the catch though, like it's, you can't get an electric pump that you would get for like a, a raft or a floaty. Um, it has to be a pump that's used for high pressure and they get pretty pricey. I mean, you might be able to find something off Alibaba for like 60 bucks, 80 bucks, um, or out AliExpress. Uh, if you go on Amazon, you're probably looking at 150 to like $400. And from what I've heard, even the more expensive pumps tend to burn out after about a year. So you wind up being stuck using one of these. It's quite a workout to pump up your board. I, I recently had this board out in Upper Michigan. And, uh, you know, after like a long hike to get to the beach and then having to pump this thing up, it can be kind of a pain in the butt. It's also kind of a little bit of a deterrent to using it. Like if I'm only going to be out on the water for about a half hour, like I see a, a good spot and I'm like, if I have a hard board, I just take it off the roof and throw it out there. When I have to pump, like I really want to make sure I'm going to get some use out of it if I'm going to pump it up. Um, but anyhow, you got two parts here, right? So you got the tube and then you got the actual pump. Now you can get these little adapters that will allow you to use this type of pump on like a, one of those uh, electric pumps at like the gas, like a tire pump at the gas station. Um, but the whole reason I bought this was for portability. So if I'm at the beach, having something that's gonna let me pump up at a gas station does me really no good. So I was wanting to get an electric pump I could plug into my cigarette lighter or just a better quality manual pump. I would say it takes me 10 to 15 minutes to pump up my board depending on how hard that I'm working. Uh, now this particular pump though, it, it, it's not terrible, it'll, it'll work. You do have a pressure gauge on here, so you're going to want the uh, PSI somewhere between I think like 11 and 15 PSI. Uh, it rides better the, uh, the higher you have it pumped. A lot of times I get lazy and leave it at about 13. Um, doesn't turn as well, doesn't track as well, but it works fine. Um, you also have this uh, switch here, so if I have it on number two, on the up it pumps and on the down it pumps. So what I normally do is pump it about the first half of the way, three quarters of the way on number two, um, which is pretty quick. Then <coughs> I flip it over to one, and for the last you know half or three quarters, you're only getting air pumped in on the downstrokes. Uh, the more full it gets, the harder it gets to pump. Um, this piece twists into the board and kind of locks in. 
and then this piece screws right into here. So here's where my problem is. So uh, I've always noticed, even from when I first start, got this, like the thread isn't that great. I mean, it's kind of like a cheap plastic thread. Um, but we're gonna screw this on. And like the first three to four times I used it, it was fine. Uh, but after that, what I wound up finding, starting to find is like once I got around seven to 10 PSI, the pressure started wanting to unscrew this. So uh, basically I'm pumping, I'm pumping, I'm pumping, and all of a sudden this piece starts to come unscrewed and then air is leaking out. Um, so what I've wound up finding that I've had to do more recently is literally as I'm pumping this thing, I'm having to keep a finger over here to make sure that this can't untwist itself. And, you know, it's just not the end of the world. I can get it pumped, but it's a little bit less convenient, a little bit of a pain in the butt having to do that. So I'll probably try to get a better manual pump, uh, maybe even a little bit of a longer hose. Because the other thing that I find, when you screw this in, the pump has a tendency of wanting to pop out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, aside from that, very, very happy with the performance of the board. I mean, I think for $3.99, you, you're not going to find anything better than this. Um, and if you're a Costco member and you can actually buy this from Costco, they have a great return policy. So if your experience isn't as good as mine, or for whatever reason you're not happy with the performance of the board, they'll definitely take it back. Um, these uh, manual pumps aren't that expensive. I'm guessing they get a quality one. You'll have to pay a few more bucks. But uh, I was going to shop around, see who's got uh, good deals on manual ones, and I was going to get another pump. Uh, I'd love to get an electric, but here's the problem. A lot of the beaches that I go to are quite a hike from your car. So I would, you know, the electric pump will obviously work off electricity. So I'd have to plug it into the cigarette lighter in my car. And like one beach that I go to, for example, uh, Grand Mere State Park in Stevensville, Michigan, it's, I don't know, probably a half mile hike through the forest and then maybe another quarter mile, half mile over sand dunes. So if I pump this up to the car, now I'm having to carry the whole board. I'd almost rather just sling the thing on my back get to the beach. At the beach, I obviously don't have electricity, so I'd have to use a manual pump. So I don't necessarily even know how much how much use I would get out of a uh, electric pump. One other tip for those of you guys who do have like cheap raft pumps. Uh, a couple weekends ago, I was out on my cousin's boat uh, on the Chain of Lakes, Fox Lake in uh, kind of northern Illinois. And um, she had one of those cheap floaty pumps. Now she didn't have the correct attachment to allow me to use this. So what we actually did, we took her cheap pump and she had a bunch of different like weird little raft attachments. I didn't have anything that locked in her fit, but I literally just held it into, I think I plugged this into my board and then I just held her attachment. It kind of stuck in there a little bit. I just kind of held them as tight as I could. A lot of air was leaking, but to my surprise, it actually filled the board about three quarters of the way. Um, you know, once the board started getting some decent pressure in it, um, all the air would have flowed right out, but it at least got me got got the board filled about three quarters of the way So as I'm standing on the swim deck of a bobbing boat I'm not having to pump the thing from scratch all the way up So that actually kind of saved quite a bit of time But really my only beef about the uh, body glove performer is the pump I would kind of heard that from other people really not the end of the world This thing is still a bargain and even if you got to spend another 50 bucks on a pump It's still gonna get you out on a great paddle board for a fraction of the price that almost anything else out there will cost so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you guys have any suggestions for either an electric pump or a manual pump, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.